My boys, can you believe it? That Dimps is actually fixing something on Xenoverse 2 fairly quickly after the community reported it as a major issue. And not even reported it to them, but just talked about it on social medias. I made my video about it a couple days ago, which I'm finding more and more odd when it comes to these fixes that they have thrown out recently on Xenoverse 2. A lot of times it does come after me or someone else in the community makes a video, so it really makes me feel even more now that Dimps has been paying attention at the very least since there has been a new production team because since that new team came in there have been quite a bit of apologies coming from dimps when it comes to xenoverse 2 or just on the dragon ball games twitter because dimps does not have its own but when i say coming from dimps i'm talking about stuff like on the actual website which i'll show you in a second but first and foremost let's talk about this main thing that they are fixing and in the process of fixing at this moment in time which is the goku black and tau pai pai stick or pole whatever you want to call it that was was a pre-order bonus DLC and then also made viable in the future. Um, I believe it was like two years or something like that into the game. This DLC was actually made viable where you could get Goku Black if you did not pre-order the game. But again, we call it the pre-order bonus DLC just due to the simple fact that this was something you got for pre-ordering Xenoverse 2. Now it says for Xbox One players using the Xbox Series X S version. Wait, why does it say Xbox One players? Why? That That's just that threw me off but anyways we have confirmed that goku black and tau pai pai stick vehicle from the pre-order bonus dlc can't be used in the game a patch to resolve this issue is scheduled for mid february we apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience so basically guys if you're being affected by this if you have an xbox series x slash s and you're not able to use goku black custom goku black things along those lines well it will be fixed sometime around mid february is when this patch is going to go out now like i said when it comes to this new production team and new producer and all that ever since then it seems that they have been apologizing apologizing much more for issues that have gone on for example this one right here against the frieza army invasion the frieza event where, where you fight all the enemies and whatnot basically rewards were not distributed properly and then they they talked about it right here talked about when the rewards will be coming out um once again this is in regards to the reward distribution of the android 21 light raid for anybody who remembers that i believe it was the the wig and, and glasses that was not being distributed there was something not distributed from this raid specific, uh, specifically and they did put out an announcement in regards to that this is in regards to the v jump in uh december which was just absolutely pointless they showed stuff of the festival of the universe event when it was literally over like a day before the v jump scan actually came out it made absolutely no sense and they did release apology for that and then also this is in regards to rewards from one of the uh budokai tournaments that they do hold the i guess rewards weren't distributed properly and they did apologize for it again there is a much higher trend and, and you see it a lot more where dims is actually apologizing for issues that they have made and, and mistakes they've made when it comes to xenoverse 2 and this is something that really did not happen very often in the past like all four of these are in the span of one month this is from December 14th, December 19th, the 25th, and then the 10th of January. So not even in a full month, they apologized four different times for issues that were going on with events, rewards being distributed, things along those lines, which I greatly do appreciate and just hope that it truly does mean they are paying more and more attention to the community and actually trying to fix things because that was not a very common trend by any means when it comes to Xenoverse 2. And at the very least, they would not fix things as fast as they have been trying to at this point in time which again i greatly appreciate it like it is very rare for them to put out something so quick in regards to an actual issue and an issue like this one right here with the goku black pre-order dlc you really don't see that too much so i'm very again very glad that they are putting this out there are letting the community know that they're on it they're going to fix it all things along those lines because that is not really what the history of xenoverse 2 has had for us when it comes to issues on this game so let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments are you surprised that they are fixing and apologizing for much more things now than they really ever have when it comes to this game because personally as you guys know i pretty much am like I, i'm very very surprised and very happy at the same time so let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments but till next time boys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always hope you have a good one peace y'all